So for this video, I'm about to show you the best NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings for Fortnite here in Chapter 6, so you get all the best settings like your favorite pros. I would highly recommend you first of all watching me explaining all of these steps because there are a few options which you might or might not actually use on your PC, but of course I also have the full file for you ready to download on my official discord.gg slash lostripes. But before we hop into the video, let's actually hear about no ping. Are you tired of having high ping in Fortnite and you wonder how all your favorite Fortnite pros always seem to have zero delay? What you need for that? is no ping guys. Your number one client to reduce your ping in every single game you guys want to play. Let's say you want to play Fortnite, you just search it up, select it, and no ping is going to give you an overview of all of the best servers available in your near. And the coolest part is it works on multiple regions. So if you like to play cash cap on a different region, it can still help you to get the best server. So just select the server you want to use, click on to optimize this game, and no ping is going to automatically help you to get the best connection possible. Additionally, they also feature some FPS boost features, and they are all tested tweaks which are going to help you to improve your system speed. Make sure to check out no ping with the link in the video description. And in the first place guys, we're of course going to need the Nvidia Profile Inspector. For this one, just simply search up the official NVIDIA Profile Inspector on Google and click on the first GitHub link. Once you're in here, you're going to scroll down a little bit and then you can find NVIDIA Profile Inspector.zip. Once clicking onto it, it's going to get it automatically for you on your PC. Now, all you're going to need is a program like Windra or 7-Zip to open it up and then you're going to drag just the exit onto your desktop. And once you then got it here, you're just simply going to double click onto it and click on a yes for it to run the program. What you want to do in the first place is go into this top bar and actually type in that Fortnite so we are directly under the Fortnite section. This is where we want to apply all of the changes. And this is then how the NVIDIA Profile Inspector is going to look like. But first of all, I'm going to show you where to get the profile. And what you want to do is go into your browser and just let me type in that discord.gg slash lostripes, which is then going to redirect you onto my discord. Once you're in here and you've verified yourself, you're going to search for a channel which is called Performance Packs. If you can't find it, just simply type performance here into the top bar and there you can find it as well. And in here I post all my packs guys for absolutely free without any ads or anything like that. And I'm going to upload it straight up after publishing this video. So you're going to find it in here. The profile is then going to be called Lestripes 2025 Profile. And once we are now here back in the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, you want to go into the top taskbar and just simply type in there Fortnite. That way you make sure that we change now all these settings for Fortnite. Then you want to click under Import user-defined profile and import profiles and then all you got to do is click under the latest profile on your desktop. Then it says profile successfully imported and click on OK. Now I'm about to explain you all of these settings and in the first place under sync and refresh I would actually recommend you to turn off everything which has something to do with G-Sync in the first place. You can see application mode on off, application request state on force off, application state on force off and global features as well on off. G-Sync is not really beneficial and there's barely any pros out there actually utilizing it. So therefore make sure that everything connected to G-Sync is turned off. Next up, we have maximum pre-rendered frames. And this one is kind of tricky, guys, because for me as an example, I actually use it on one. This can result in a lot lower input delay in Fortnite, but the thing is, it's kind of hardware demanding. So you want to have anything from, let's say, like a pretty decent mid-end Ryzen 5 or Intel Core i5, you know, up until the latest and best CPUs. This is going to cost you maybe a little bit of performance, but the input delay difference is insane. Other than that, you're going to keep it on use the 3D application settings. But as mentioned, if you have a stronger PC, please use it on one. Then preferred refresh rate of course on the highest possible. Vertical sync should be completely forced off unless you are using a 60 or 75 hertz panel. That can be sometimes beneficial to counter ghosting. Then under anti-aliasing you can see anti-aliasing FXAA enabled. This one you're gonna put under disallowed. The other modes you can see like gamma correction are turned on, line gamma are on default, MFAA enabled is on off, transparency multi-sampling on disabled and super sampling as well. And then the anti-aliasing mode itself is on override any application settings. That is super important because we don't want to use the ones which are in Fortnite directly but actually ours which we applied in here. Texture filter optimization you want to keep on on. This one is actually better for performance. The same with sample optimization. Both of these are going to help you to increase your FPS. It's going to make the game maybe look a little bit worse but trust me guys this is super worth it for performance. This of course also means that prevent antistrophic filtering should be on off since we want to use it. And next up our quality is of course on high performance. And the LOD bias we don't really care about since we're not changing the details of Fortnite with this profile, which I've already made a video about with the best competitive settings sort of with potato graphics. And then the rest of these settings are all applied on the best ones, which I can highly recommend you. Especially power management mode should be on preferred maximum performance. The shader cache size itself on 10 gigs. And threaded optimization you're gonna leave on auto. Especially with a game like Fortnite, it's pretty well optimized with utilizing all the cores of your CPU. So therefore just simply keep it on auto. Once we're done with that guys, you're going to click on apply changes and you're good to go. You can close it. There's a one-time tweak and now you can enjoy having Fortnite with the best NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings.